Hello, this is Tom Zander. I am an, an architect and a professional illustrator. In this edition of my how-to series, I will show you step-by-step step how I produce professional-looking postcards for artists using Photoshop. Let's take a look at what we are about to do. This is the front side of the postcard. It has images of three different artists and a few words telling the potential customer what it's all about. Artisan's gallery and a sale. The front of the card is to catch their eye, making them want more information and hopefully not landing the card in their recycling bin. Don't clutter it with too many words or images. Keep it simple, keep it artistic. Here we have the back side. This is the place for facts and information. The right half I leave blank. This is for the postage stamp and the address. Notice that in this case I happen to use words in the vertical direction to separate the post office side from the information side. Just a little trick to get more information on the card without making it look too full. On the left, on the left side I now have the when, where, and who. I keep it professional looking by not using more than two textiles or sizes. I do take advantage of bold text where I want to emphasize something or to break up the monotony of too many words. Notice that we have 10 artists in this sale. Everyone does not need to have an image on the card. Remember, this is for catching the eye of the customer not showcasing everyone. Fact is, the image may not even be the entire art piece. Just a little clip is often very effective. One last thing. The post office many times will stick on a barcode to the lower left edge. So be careful not to get too close to that edge or something might get covered up. So now let's get started. <music> 